When you want to know what time it is, a lot of people just check their phones. But in this digital age, do children know how to read analog clocks? Nicole Brewer is here now with the change that's being called the sign of the times. Huh? Like yes. Cursive. Right. right. Yeah. Same. Mm -hmm. Same deal. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hi, Yuki. Mm -hmm. Hi, hey. Jess. By Hi. the way, I see what you did there, Yuki. <laughs> uh, apparently, it's a problem here in America and across the pond. In fact, schools in the UK are installing digital devices in test rooms after students say they struggled to tell time on an analog clock. Step into an elementary school classroom and you know it's time to learn. Manners, numbers, addition, subtraction, how to read, social studies, and in time, how to tell time. Analog clock versus digital. From working round the clock to figure out the big and little hands to drawing up your own timetable, it's a skill that's mastered early on. Six, 21, I think. Pretty darn close. But did you know it's often forgotten? Really? That's crazy. It doesn't surprise me at all. Call it a sign of the times. Some British secondary schools removed analog clocks from exam rooms, relying on digital displays to help students race against time. Progress comes, skills are lost. I think it's utterly ridiculous. Then again, I'm old. The answer is teach the kids. That's the answer. I know we try to like limit their frustration levels, but at some point, when is it too much? Erin Steffen is an early childhood educator at Reformation Nursery School in Media. She says the disconnect extends into speech. I say it's quarter till six, the time is. 5.45. Half past eight means 8.30. They pass the test, but as time marches on, some worry fewer will. We're going to use digital clocks because that's what their iPhone says or their Apple Watch. That's unfortunate. But at the same time, it just seems like that's the direction that time is going. <laughs> Now, Mrs. Stefan also highlighted what she calls a trend toward higher level thinking in our schools, which she says can actually work to undermine some of those basic skills that students should be taught. Mm. So, That's I mean, it's always something. good to have higher level thinking. Yes. But you have to balance it with the actual yes, basic practical. Yeah, mm -hmm. the building blocks, That's as right. they say. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, Nicole.